Hey, sneaky looks back today. Sneaky, me, that's me, I'm back again. So I've got another pup for you. Now I'm going to call it KDE Slacks Pup. The name's quite a lot longer in the uh, in the forums and stuff. But I thought I'd give you a little look. Because basically it's puppy 431 with a bit of woof and a bit of slacks. So he's used the slacks repositories to actually get KDE's 3.5 to work correctly. Which has always been a bit of a bummer in puppy. So I'll give you a look, quick look round. We only get the home folds on the desktop, which is really nice. So it looks then. Okie cokey. We'll get into the K menu. Now in setup. It's all the usual puppy stuff in desktop, it's all the usual puppy stuff and a cut of extras from KDE and system. Some and some more even. You get system status and config there. Some things don't actually work. It's not perfect, but it works very well on the whole, which is what I'm trying to show it to you. And you might like to give it a go. Now, being KDE is quite a large download. It's 200 meg plus, I think we're getting nearly 300 meg. So it's quite large, but if you've got a fast connection, no billion problem. It runs fine from the live CD, although you do have to resize your desktop and stuff like that. So you've got a file system there, the usual document and stuff like that, as you were doing KDE. Now, as it's KDE, there's no Abbey Word or anything. We have, so we click word processing, and you'll see what I mean. We have K Word. Now, I haven't used K Word for quite a while now, so I don't know what it actually saved to. So, you know what I mean? So, if we click save as, we'll have a look, shall we? Uh, yeah, I do wouldn't it really? Just the main ones anyway. So yeah, that should be uh, super cool. Super duper. Get rid of that and go back to what we're doing. So we'll go back to the K menu again. I'm going to go back to Office. It's also you've got your spreadsheet one in there. You've got slide presentations. Now this one here is what I really like because outside of Open Office, there is no others out there really to do slideshow presenters or presentations, even should we say. Now it works rather nice. This looks like an old version, but as long as it works, it works. That's all I'm really worried about. So that's pretty cool. Utilities. What have we got down utilities? Loads and loads and loads of stuff. This is why it's such a large download for a pup. Because normally like puppy 5.2 is only 128, something like that. Personal, we still get Bcrypt and Figaro and stuff like that. And Osmo still there. Under network. Loads. Oh, blimey, look at that. Now, I could make this video really long by doing this. Right. On the downside, the firewall doesn't work by one click. There is a workaround, but as far as I'm aware, he's going to work around that for us. So we'll get around there. Okay, multimedia. You get your CD player. You get your ripping, which is K3B. You get a CD ripper. You get your wavy edit stuffy for the wavy edit stuffing. Pup radio, pre records there, sound mixer, sound server control, a video player. The Woof multimedia converter, which is very good for converting stuff. I'll just click on it and see if it works. Yes, basically it does. The fonts and text are quite large when you go to puppy stuff and not KDE. But basically you put your file in there and where you want to go to and what you want to save to. So if I had an AVI and I wanted to go to ooh, FLV, it will do that for me. No problem. So that's enough of that one. You've seen it. I've done that in Pup before. For anyway. You should know better than that. You should know better than that. Yes, you should know better than that. Yes. So under internet, you had box filters, care, blah, 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 blah. Load of KDE stuff in here as well, as you can see. And loads of puppy. Right, web browser, we have the Fox in here. I think as far as I remember, it's 3.6 in this one. So we'll just wait for it to come up, because I'm doing it live from the disk. Well, actually, from the hard disk, actually, but hey. So I'll make the disk... I'll make the disk... What is wrong with me? I'll make the screen larger for you. And as you can see, we're trying to download all these. So I'll, well, let's try and download that one. I'll go to that one. It's 3.6, there you go. There's the start page. And add block plus filter subs. If you use Adblock before, you know how to use this. If not, I'll do another video on it. I'm not going to do too much about it. And the one he wants us to go to, we can't find. It's a bit of a bummer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly type in the BBC, and make sure the internet works. Yeah, it works fine. Let's see how the page comes up with 3.6 on this version of Puppy with KDE. Not too bad at all, really, is it? I was quite impressed. Yeah, it was alright. That's what it says on the tin on this bit, really, isn't it? So yeah, network's right. But does it play videos. So let's see. We go to the tube. So go to the YouTube. I'll just put in a search bar just to make sure that my connection is working and I'm not lying, I've not preloaded anything. Because I haven't really. No no honestly I haven't. Okay, we're trying to the old lady stops robbery. So if we get a little bit of video I'll just cut it as soon as it does. Okay. So far from I'll get the F one there. We'll have to press that add blocks in there. Don't forget. You can turn it off if you want to by the way. So we go wait for I'll get me a little swirly thing up. Nice, it's there. Nice, super, 
flesh works out of the box that I like. I'm going to close the browser now. I'll just save and quit that. Yes, okay, we're going out of there. So the internet works fine, okay? Under graphics. Right, you get image viewer and a paint program, a color chooser, PDF viewer and stuff like that. No gimme. Hmm, never mind. But if you like games, blimey, look at all these. Loads and loads and loads of games. KD style, of course. Under business, we have home bank, personal organizer, a cool little and G measures. Very nice indeedy. Well, on the whole, it looks really, really nice. Now, it's not fault free, I'm afraid. I've done a full install, and every time you reboot, you have to resize the screen. But if you use Exvisor or one of the exhaust stuff, it just doesn't work, and it doesn't reboot again, and it just keeps going over and over and over, and you can't turn it off. That was one of the main downs I had, but I will contact him personally on the forums and go through that with him. To change the screen resolution, you can do this one, which I have done. Let's go, that's my screen resolution. It works fine for me, but if you use the actual one up here, I'll show you. I mean, if we use the because I'm using an Exvessa for this because it won't boot on the box via Exorg. If you use this and you change all the settings, you can't get it to shut down. Bit of a bummer, but hey, but it just proves it can be done and he's working on it. And maybe in a week or so, it may be all fixed. That'd be nice. So if you want KDE on a pup using slacks and using the slacks repos, you can get a lot done here. Very, very nice. I like it anyway. Don't you? Good. Sneaky Linux going out. I see you later. Bye bye.